Excerpt from the French Resistance by Anne Weil. In June 1940, France surrendered to the German forces that had been invading their country during World War II. The Germans established a new French government in Vichy, France. Many French people felt betrayed by their government for giving up. These patriotic French men and women wanted to keep fighting the Germans, and so the French resistance was born. At first, the French resistance consisted of four of different groups working separately. The groups attacked the German forces in France and disrupted their operations. Another goal was to spy on German forces to gather useful information. Then they provided this information to the Allied forces. The Allies included the United States and Britain, who were fighting the Germans in World War II. The French resistance also helped Allied airmen who had fallen behind enemy lines escape from France. When France first fell to the Germans, many French citizens were simply struggling to survive. After a year, German forces occupied the entire country. By 1941, the French resistance was becoming better organized and more effective. Britain supported the French resistance by supplying equipment and sending trained agents to help sabotage the German military. One way the French resistance worked was to damage the French railways. These railways were used by the Germans to transport, transport equipment throughout the country. Allied bombers also destroyed rail lines. This combined effort made it difficult for German forces to move troops and equipment throughout, throughout France. Resistance forces also sabotaged electric power grids and telecommunication facilities. Different cells within the French resistance focused on different tasks. Some were mostly concerned with sabotage. Others focused on providing military intelligence to Germany's enemies outside France. By 1944, the French resistance numbered upwards of 100,000 people. The German government in France was becoming even more unpopular. Some estimates say more than a million French people were reading underground newspapers published by the resistance. The men and women of the French resistance worked with a common goal in mind, but they often had little else in common. Some came from wealthy families, others grew up poor. Their political beliefs varied too. Despite these differences, they all cooperated to defend the Nazis, to defeat the Nazis and reclaim France for the French. June 6, 1944 was D-Day, when Allied troops landed in Normandy Beach in northern France. The French resistance was very involved in planning this invasion. D-Day marked a turning point in the war against Germany. The French resistance continued to work with the Allies after D-Day. Finally, Germany was defeated and the war ended. 1. Part A. What inference can be made about the people who joined the French resistance? A. They were German citizens fighting against the French. B. They were French citizens who were unhappy with German gov government. C. They were organized by the Allies to help defeat Germany. D. They were mostly wealthy French men and women. Part B. Underline the sentence that best supports your answer in Part A. In June 1940, France surrendered to the German forces that had invaded their country during World War II. The Germans established a new French government in Vichy, France. Many French people felt betrayed by their government for giving up. These patriotic French men and women wanted to keep fighting the Germans, and so the French resistance was born. At first, the French resistance consisted of different groups working separately. The groups attacked the German forces in France and disrupted their operations. Another goal was to spy on German forces to gather useful information. Then they provided this information to the Allied forces. The Allies included the United States and Britain, who were fighting the Germans in World War II. The French resistance also helped Allied airmen who had fallen behind enemy lines escape from France. Number two, read the sentence. Different cells within the French resistance focused on different tasks. The word cells had more than one meaning. What does the word cells most likely tell the reader about the French resistance in the text? A. It included some German troops. B. It involved different places in France. C. It involved different groups of people. D. It used phones and radios to communicate to the Allies.
Number three, part A. What inference can be made about the relationship between the Allies and the French resistance? A, the French resistance did the intelligence work for the Allies. B, the French resistance was working for the Allies. C, the French resistance was fighting against the Allies. D, the French resistance did many things to help the Allies. Number four, part B. Which sentences from the passage best support your answer in part A? Choose two. A. Britain supported the French resistance by supplying equipment and sending trained agents to help sabotage the German military. B. One way the French resistance worked was to damage the French railways. C. This combined effort made it difficult for German forces to move troops and equipment throughout France. D. Others focused on providing military intelligence to Germany's enemies outside France. E. The French resistance continued to work with the Allies after D-Day until finally Germany was defeated and the war ended. Number 5. Which country was the French resistance designed to defeat? A. Germany B. France C. Britain D. The United States of America